Hello and welcome back to the Rift Breaker. What could and possibly it definitely is the last episode for now. Um at least until World World Expansion 3 3 comes out. I might give it a, another go after that happens. Uh, because that has been announced since after I started playing. Um, and I have already wishlisted it, of course, because I love this game. Let's be honest. However, we just finished Into the Dark, and now it's finally time to finish the game. However, before we do so, I want to set up a massive, massive fortress, because I know there's a huge attack that occurs directly after this. All right, here we go. Hello there. Huh. So, let's have a look at our map here. Wow, really, we have not done very much, have we? No, we have not. Our northern borders are probably our most dangerous, but like, realistically... Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. If we do this... Has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. That might work, or do we just want to, like, work on our current borders? Hmm, that is the question. Anything in this fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to. Right, well, now. for now, let's just go kill some enemies and decide what we're doing. I'm thinking, yeah, if we make a massive new wall line, that might be our best bet for doing something crazy. Oh, actually, our power situation isn't swell, is it? Hold up. Hold up. I'm sorry, we're losing how much? I mean, we should be fine for this fog, but uh, we should not be losing power at any time in any way. No. Okay, then we, we have some other change we need to do. We need to make some... Um, I reckon we don't have any sort of power production, any sort of um, fusion power is what I'm guessing we need. Because realistically, that's just water or super coolant. So, the easiest way to deal with this is going to be setting up a little bit of water right here. A little bit of water here will be a good thing. So, it's gonna go boop, boop. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier right. for us. Two apparently. Okay, so, and then we can just go grab the water, which is fine. Oh god, we have so many bloody things now, don't we? Like we have a lot of stuff to go through. Oh boy, okay. Where are our pipes? New blueprints are available for Alright, so let's get as much water out of this peel as we can, and then we should be good to go. So, do we get enough water from one field? Maybe, maybe not. Well, three of them may not be enough, but we'll see how much water we're going to get out of this. There is a second field over there, so uh, we can always grab that one too. We're also gonna, we're also gonna have to um, filter it first. So, hello there, water. It's nice to see you. One, two. Three bits of water. Ho ho ho. Okay. It's fine. This is fine. How much do we have coming in? 600? Okay, so we just need to uh, filter that. This is 100 sludge, which means we need 600 of these. Okay, no, six, six of these, not 600. That would be very expensive. Um. Five, six. Yeah, because of how much power I've got regularly, I don't think I imagined that I'd ever need this. Which is probably why I didn't have this set up before. However, this also helps us get a bunch of shields going through as well. So, 
And because of the way this is done, it won't even impact most of our... Oh, hello. You are geothermal, which means you will have more mud as well. Somewhere. Yes, indeed. There you go. There's a bit more mud for me. And there's another one over here. Ah, there it is. That, this one actually showed it. The other one didn't seem to show it. Alright. That's fine. More mud for the mud god. Because we might need to increase our power supply over time. Then we could set up just a few pipes around. Just to be sure that we've got the ability to create um, stuff everywhere. And we could get attacked at any time too, which might force us to change up our plans, but... Alright, so we'll send this... We'll know when the things are done. Oh, hello. Oh, did I actually forget any repair turrets here? Damn, that explains a lot, doesn't it? Why, why we didn't do too well last time. Here we go, let's just, uh, don't forget repair turrets. Never forget repair turrets. Repair turrets are your friend. Alright. Ooh, there's more geothermal. Hey, you know, it's fine, it's fine. We've got plenty of power coming in. We've got plenty of mud. It's okay. So I might want to take this this pipe up the other way too. Because I would love for this to just become a massive. Speed. Oh, hello. I forgot that little lava field here. Also, definitely don't want the lava pipes failing. Wind turbines are spinning like crazy. Holy hell. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm busy. Alright. We can thankfully go around what we've got here, which is fine. We might also try and get some of these modded things working. Okay. Everything here is just like mid broken. Alright. Our, our proper power source is open now, which is good all right let's take a bunch of our nigh on infinite uh deposits uh out of a sudden run out which is annoying all right so before we do this, we've got to try and do a few things. First of all, we've got a little bit more research to do. I'd like to go into these mods, if we can. So, oh boy, yeah, this might just... Maybe there won't. Maybe this won't be the last episode, just because I'm going to be needing to get all these bloody mods working. They're all very similar, though. That's the one downside about these mods. I kind of wish they had unique and different art styles and things going for them. I didn't think we have the uh, stuff set up to create the ammo yet, so we might want to go do that as well. God, this. I'm glad I didn't call this series all the mods, because clearly I have not been heavily modded <laughs> using heavily, like large amounts of mods here. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked we have so much unknown, like, so much we haven't done yet. But we are definitely through the game. We're about to win. I guess these things just weren't important to us. The other check tree is a little bit more clear than this one. 
Or are they? Huh. Did a patch happen? Or no, no, I think I just was this bad before. At least here we can see most what most of the issues, what most things are. Wait, lock behind a campaign objective? There should be no more campaign objectives existing. That one's fully for it, full. Okay, we're, we're fine. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Out, oh, out, oh, that's more poison. Alright, we should also see if there's anything else we can actually upgrade around here. Oh, we did actually have some. Wind speed is fusion around as well. Wind turbine efficiency returning to normal. It's okay. Just check and make sure we got nothing else to upgrade. Or build. Oh, you all done. Damn, okay. Alright. Now, thankfully, we'll be able to build the advanced rift stabilizer, which is going to save us a bit of time. So, where do we actually build our warp gate? Is the next question. don't remember. Oh, we should walk around the base anyway. Make sure there's nothing missing. Alright, I think we're good over here. Let's see a little bit more. I mean, I still kind of want to make an entire pathway here, but then, I don't know, I feel like our new expansion from last time is probably good enough. Alright, let's see. Aha, here we go. Mech ammo. We need hazenite flu for it. Now, I know we can get those from the various geysers around too, can't we? Or, uh, I don't know, we can get it from the morphium power generator because it produces hazenite flu and everything. And it requires morphium. Okay, it requires radioactive gas that's the only downside do we have any radioactive gas around here we can get morphium in by by bringing it in but everything else we can't look at the map and see if we've got any radioactive gas nodules no then how do we get radioactive gas exactly You think you get from processing uranium, but apparently not. Alright, well first of all we can decompress a bunch of morphium here. So we will want to use morphium one way or another. Even if it's just a lower level without the gas, but uh, yes. Ah, here we go. Nuclear power plant produces the gas. Alright, and it just requires water. So that's nice and easy. So, uh... Uh-oh. We really need a way to get power through here, don't we? Okay, so we... Maybe I put the this in the wrong place. All right, so oh damn, this is going to be very annoying to do, isn't it? Also, die wildlife. I need more space. 
Okay. So, how much water are we currently using? We're using nothing. 200 water per second. That's fine. Everything's currently maxed, so... Annoying that the water, that the uranium, the water comes out the, the same side as the uranium. We're going to have to do this a little bit weirdly. That's okay. So. Nuclear power plant. Radioactive gas. Goes up, the same side comes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it like this. Warning. Hostile creatures are closing in on our banks. Prepare for an attack. Oh, it is on the one side we haven't defended, isn't it? Lovely. Okay, this is fine. Just let me finish off at least getting this going. And getting these moving up the back. Oh god, we're gonna need a lot of random pipe work here, aren't we? And rebuilding the... The compressors. will contain morphium but yes let's get the uh, and hope that we can actually make it so all right We've got four minutes it's fine thankfully um all right so they're coming from this direction which means our primary defensive line will need to be here which is fine though it should be said I don't seem to have any power going over here yet so uh First things first is a load of power. And some redundancy, because apparently, uh... Alright, cool. We got lots of power now. Alright, very nice. Next. Ooh, Railgun Tower 3s. Well, don't mind if I do. And some defenses. Oh, we're still getting more guns, aren't we? Alright. I could do it with a heavy artillery tower if no, no, it costs too much at the moment. Morphium tower, we don't have any morphium. Rocket towers, might as well get a couple of them just for explosive damage. Honestly, we should be okay. Shame we don't have laser tower 3, but we'll get some minigun turrets. We get lightning tower because we can. And we'll get a Gatling laser turret, because why the heck not? Alright. I mean, I, that's, that's pretty nice for the one pass we won't need to defend in great, great depth. Get a couple of lasers and Gatlings as we go through as well. Plasma, sure, why not? We got so many guns. There are so many guns in this game. Keep going. Alright, now from here we actually do have the ability to make shield generators, which is nice. Alright. Let's get some power going down here. There we go. A little bit of redundancy. Alright, so we'll start with the railgun towers. And some healing. I'm sure I got some. We got some. We don't down here, do we? Oh, no, we do. We did. We did. That's fine. All right. Gatling laser. A couple of these. Kind of curious to see how these go in combat properly. 
minigun towers. Now, these are always good. They're also very impressive as well. Alright, let's also get a shield generator going on here because we might as well. One, two, three, four. A new technology has been developed. New building. And here's our pipeline coming through. Excuse me. Yes, yes, I know you want uh, plasma. It's fine. There we go. Fully shielded. Beautiful. Couple laser towers. <gasps> we just got the Gatling laser too. Oh. Oh. That's so good. I love Gatling lasers. I think. They're really big. Oh, they, they're here? Oh, oh no, they're coming here. Um. Okay. Well, I guess. Ah, here it comes. Let's, let's watch it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. How are there still new species being discovered? This planet never ceases to amaze. <laughs> this is swell. This is absolutely swell. Holy hell, they are absolutely wavy. Let's check the southern area because the southern area I feel is slightly less like good. I feel like I put less in the way of turrets down the southern area since it was a smaller region. We also have shields and yeah, no, we're fine. Like. How am I getting, how am I getting hurt? What, what, what's happening? I want to watch. Just let me watch in peace. I feel like we've got a good mix here. I, mean, I feel like I should also be under the under the generator's guidance, but anyway. Now it doesn't look like no actually nothing is dying, surprisingly. Oh no no, some stuff has. Oh no, actually wow no. It's only been like a tiny bit of damage. Holy hell. Oh we still have a shield gen oh no, it's not doing this, it's fine. Base is under attack. Ooh, actually, there is some more damage occurring now. I don't think those are my lasers, actually. Excuse me, what's laying up the giant lasers? Oh. We had some uh, purple skull enemies. That was from one of the DLCs. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, that worked well. Now we go back to doing our morphine production. Um, okay, so. Let's go for power. Oh, I need to know how I'm going to do this in terms of, like, getting this out here. I'm going to have to do it very carefully is the answer. Because basically, I have to take it and put it into this. Oh, wait, no. Radioactive... Guided ammo ammunition factory. I can just build. It just takes the active gas by default, so that's easy. And then advanced mech armor ammo. Just needs hazenite flu, which is why I need 
the um, this because it produces haze night flu. Okay, well I'll just uh, ooh. Okay, this is going to be a little bit weird. Way too many pipes here. Oh, wait, that won't work, will it? No, not really. I've got to then I have to turn around. Okay, wait, no, no. What if I come? Can I destroy this? No. Okay, what if I deconstruct this? I've got to go around this tree. Yeah, they really need a better way of transporting liquids in this game. Has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Oh, but that won't work because I've still got to get this around too. Which means... Oh, damn it. This is going to be really awkward. Can I sell some of this stuff? I may be missing something, but the piping system in this game is uh, a little bit troubling. Almost, we still need enough to use the other side too, so... There we go. Now you need to bring in Morphium. Please and thank you. Alright, so, then with the Hazenite flu, we can then use that. Okay, so that will produce Hazenite flu, and we can use that to build ourselves the advanced mech ammo. Right? So we've got a building limit of two. Okay. Does this one have a building limit? No. In fact, that means we can probably get some more too, which is would not be a bad idea. Alright. Oh, a pipe junction. Oh, that's what that was for. A four-side pipe junction routing two different streams to different pipelines. Ah. Are originating from a common points near our base. Okay, so there is actually a way to do we this. Go and investigate that area. Wait, is that not the Haze Knight flu? Oh no, they're just literally eating up all that Haze Knight flu. You know, it's probably okay. Wait, the morphium isn't coming in fast enough. How much can you... Oh. Oh. I need four of these things somehow? Okay. Okay, I, I get it. Um, This is going to be quite messy. To build four... Liquid decompressors around here. Oh well, there you go. And we're definitely going to want a pipe junction at some point as well to take this flu out of here. Okay. Now, select resource, haze and uh, morphium. Sele I said select resource, morphium. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby morphium. Morphium. I don't even know if you're on the line yet, but morphium, please. Are you actually doing your job? Equip. 
equip. This technology has been developed. But like, are available for construction. which way is the pipe meant to go? Because I was thinking that would, that would connect up, but it's acting like it's not. Okay, let's just go and sell this pipe again. Huh. Hold up, I could have sworn I would have built these in the right direction. Yeah, I did. Oh, they're there. I can just barely see them. Okay. Thank you. Let's just put that there. There, put that there. And sell that. Do we now have all the all the morphine coming in? Yes, we do. All right, we have Warning. 500 morphine Most coming in, coming which is enough area. to we do this. Okay, yes, fine. Okay, Mr. Riggs. I'm sure it'll be fine anyway. We got tons of um, firepower here anyway. Put a little bit more Gatling lasers here, just in case. Sorry. Alright, let's go. We will deal with the problem. Ooh. Hello, does anyone want to be murdered around here? Don't worry, I got plenty of murder for everyone. I am a, a killing machine. I mean, the machine of science and killing. The kill the science of killing. of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. I already did. Thank you. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. It was not. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. This should stop them from gathering in this area and improve our chances of survival. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Every bit helps. Wait, what? How did you get inside? One of our buildings was being destroyed. Okay, but wait a second. How? How is it even possible? Okay, excuse me, friends. Okay, so they can just spawn inside my base too if I'm far away enough. Well, that's concerning. Alright, the question is... Is there much more I need to do before I set up the final gateway? Probably not, to be honest, but that's okay. Um, no one else said this episode had to be long. Just said it had to actually occur. Alright, well, let's have a couple of these around. Don't know how many of these we're meant to have, but uh, there we go. All right, so but there will be one final big ass attack after this. So we've got three things we can build. We can build the hyper particle condenser. Hyper particle condenser construction in progress. We can build the fusion field accelerator. Okay. We're going to have to wait some time for the construction to finish. This is a very And we can build the quantum gate stabilizer. Fusion field accelerator construction in progress. This is going to take some time. Let's focus on other tasks. I'm glad we can build all of them at once. Construction in progress. Because that, that helps. We can't rush this building. 
I wouldn't want to get scrambled walking through an unstable rift portal. Would anyone want that? <laughs> no, I guess no one would want that. Was that a joke? Yes, it was supposed to. I guess they didn't program that for you. I guess they didn't program that for you either. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Egg, your joke was more funny than hers was, to be honest. I didn't even realize she was making a joke. Okay, Laser Towers level 3. Fantastic. Wait, what? They can be upgraded? Why did I not see that in my selection menu? Oh, they can. They could be level 3. I mean, I definitely didn't need... No, I mean, I did need two, but that's okay. Alright, so let's see here. What other things can we do now? Well, now we've actually got some modded tower ammo coming in. It should make some difference. See, I don't want to get all these things that require Haze Knight flu. Alright, we should have a small section of wall. That is only defended by modded weapons. I'm guessing it'll be up here, because. Yeah, when we get around here, up here is pretty barren. Yeah, because it's pretty indestructible, but here isn't. Okay. Antimatter Tower, for example, requires antimatter. Oh, okay. Cruise Missile Tower. Died of Munitions. Okay. I don't know if we even have any guided munitions, but anyway, I think that's what we we're trying to build. And... Oh! Okay. So what else we can do here? They clearly have the, the ammo. Let's see, we have a bullet drone. Let's say something called burst artillery. And guided rocket towers. They seem slightly less explosive than what we're used to. Base is under attack. We've got shotgun towers. Shotgun cannons. We've got plasma shotguns. Now, they sound a lot more effective, I've got to say. Ooh, especially if we FG at the max level. Alright, so let's get some plasma shotguns here. Oops, sorry, didn't he not mean to get rid of that? Oh, well. Plasma shotguns, plasma mortars. Although, the plasma mauler sounds fun. And we got the modified laser tower that requires lava. So no, no, thank you. I don't have enough lava in the world to do that for you, no. Build the drone back because we destroyed the other ones. Okay. We don't have too much to begin with and we don't have a replacement for this repair tower so we still need one of those normally all right we're fine well we're about to get laser towers level three oh okay to Never mind. We actually have a base defense up the top here, which... Okay. Sure. I feel like I don't want to just rely on um, these guns, so I will have a couple of them in the mix, but uh, yeah. This is too small of an area. assume that one's already good over there but maybe I shouldn't assume oh yeah that one's fine Hyper particle 
Denser construction finished. Okay, they should all be finished. It's a big milestone towards setting up a stable connection back to Earth. Fusion field accelerator construction finished. Excellent. We're one step closer to getting the wrist station operational. Quantum gate stabilizer construction finished. That's great news. It wasn't easy to gather all that titanium to build it. Yes, it was. Actually, no, the titanium was actually difficult. She's, she's not wrong there. We have assembled all of the wrist station components. We can start preparing the station for the power-up sequence. Walk onto the rift station to initiate a complete diagnostics check of all of the station's subsystems. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. But I'd like the attack first. Not to mention, we're about to get Laser Towers level 3. Alright, well, there's a... There's a few modded towers in here, although I do admit not as many as it would be good to have. Research completed. Ah, advanced extraction. Okay. Sludge 500 a second. Now that's much better. Lava extraction as well? Yeah, 500 a second is much better. What do we have here? Void Knight centrifuge make. Well, Void Knight. Okay. Or you actually wait, no, it's the opposite. Void Knight making other things. Okay. Ooh. Okay, now that's a little bit more useful. Gatling laser tower level two. Yep, we've got that before. Obviously our gear upgrades. There's crystal wall upgrades. Okay. Laser guns are about to get upgraded, which is good. Which should lead us to laser Gatling level 3, which is something I'd want to rush. Ah, so it's the Gauss rifle that requires that. Gotcha. Okay. Oh wait, there's more coming from the other way. Hold up, I don't know if this place is ready for that. Uh, let's quickly add some... Additional power here. But this was still based on our old definition of power, what was here. And I might as well wait an extra minute for the game, the, the high level, uh... Railgun towers. There we go. Alright. Still two minutes for this attack, so I think we're fine, but uh Oh, they haven't even been upgraded. Oh, there is a lot of this stuff. Oops. Please upgrade all of our things. Giant twos and don't help anyone. Except the enemies, I suppose. Alright, we're good. Everything ready. Just need to build a couple more laser turrets. Seven, six. Two, five, nine, eight, Q. A new technology has been developed. Okay. New buildings are available for construction. Here we go. 
Here we go. Top of the line defense is right here, buddy. There we go. Now, if there is the uh, Gatling laser revealed now, which there is. Hello there, Gatling lasers, level three. I would like you to move right up to the top. Gatling laser level three. Love it. All right. I think we've done all we can. Unless this one goes here. In which case, these things probably need an upgrade too. Just in case, we'll put a few more high-tech things in here to defend. All right. Wait three seconds. Also, I need to put a teleporter over here. Danger! Hostile creatures are approaching our base. It's okay. We're fine. Let's see which face is having the most fire, first of all. Back where we were first. Firstly. Looking okay for these new guns. Right, check over. I see they are coming there, so it's a good thing I dropped in there. Look at them go. Look at those laser turrets. Damn, they're impressive. Base is under attack. All right. Tower destroyed. There is a breach in our wall. Oh, okay, where? Okay, it makes sense it's here. Because here is sort of like the biggest... Um, yeah, it's hard for the guns to do anything. So let's go out there and see what we can do. I think it's too much of a choke point, annoyingly. Yeah, I think this one's way too much of a choke point. Uh, apart from that, we're pretty safe and secure here, which is nice. You know what? No. There's nothing here to vent anyway. Alright, okay, so... All right, I guess it's time. 
I am initiating rift station diagnostics. Ashley, in the meantime, please verify the list of resources that are necessary to begin the rift station. We are fine. Like, literally, we are fine. Okay, Mr. Riggs, we are going to need three primary <laughs> ingredients to power up the portal. A starting charge that's going to initiate the sequence. A stable flow of supercharged plasma for the rift gate. And coolant to stabilize the station during the process. This shouldn't be that difficult with the infrastructure we already have in place. I mean, it depends. I, I can, you seem to be taking your time on taking the uh, supercharged plasma. Okay. Fusion field accelerator plasma conduits check. Okay. Wait, what? Condenser capacitor flux. Okay. How does it want? Quantum gate stabilizer magnetron check. Error. Magnetic fields unstable. How does it want more supercharged mm -hmm. plasma? We should have expected this. This planet's magnetic field is not behaving in a normal way. We won't be able to get off the planet if we don't stabilize the magnetic field around the rift station. We can stabilize the magnetic field by constructing additional magnetic field stabilizers around the rift station. Yes, we can do that, but this complicates the process significantly. Magnetic stabilizers require a lot of resources to be built. They use a lot of energy themselves. They require cooling. <laughs> and we will have to place them around the portal, but not too close to each other. They don't require cooling. Not these ones. <clears throat> we can expand our external mining outposts to speed up the process of gathering resources. We can also... Oh, okay, so I just need to have that much on hand at this time. That's how it works. We right. might also have to rearrange the buildings around the rift station to make all of We did not know. Well, as someone once said, we're not doing this because it's easy, but because it's hard. <laughs> Let's get to work then. Magnetic stabilizers are in place and operational. I am rerunning diagnostics on the quantum gate stabilizer. All systems check. Magnetic field stabilized. Quantum magnetron operational. That's great. We can move forward with the rest of the preparations. The rest of preparations are done. We have finished all of the necessary preparations for the rift station. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but we're there. It's hard to believe that we're finally approaching the moment of powering up the rift. Which means hopefully one final attack, right? From memory. Start the power up sequence. It is going to need some time to finish. Yes. We will have to maintain a stable flow of all of the required resources during that time. The starting charge is only enough to initiate the rift station power-up sequence. The energy consumption of the station is going to be extremely high during the entire process. It's okay, we've got... Let's make sure that our energy grid can handle that strain it can. before starting the procedure. We should build up additional reserves of supercharged plasma and coolant in liquid storages. If the rift station power-up sequence is interrupted, then we will have to cool off the station and restart the entire process. The rift station is going to emit an enormous amount of high-frequency energy waves. We've already aggravated the local fauna with our actions. These emissions will be going out in a very large radius, so they will alarm all of the potentially aggressive creatures within kilometers of our base. We have to prepare for the strongest attack that we've ever seen. Good. We have to make sure that our base is secured from all directions. It should be fine. I hope. Eh, we'll find out. This is going to be our final battle on Galatea 37. For now. Let's make sure that we are ready before we push the button. I do like pushing buttons, though. They're big buttons. They're nice buttons. Hmm. Well, we'll at least wait for our uh, battery banks finished, but I think we're good. I can't imagine Galatea 97 or whatever this planet was called. Galatea actually throwing anything at us we can't handle at this point. And strangely enough, this game doesn't really have a final boss. I guess that's what the DLC really did with the uh, with that little boss fight, which was not quite nice, actually. Yes. Now, there are obviously a we might want to go through and modernize a few of our defenses. Um, but yeah, from memory, it's just a regular attack. I don't think it actually happens for all directions, but oh well. Um. Uh. He 
It's me. Uh -huh. Am I? Hold it. Why? Why is it not? Ah. Uh -huh. I'm holding space. Well, this would be anticlimactic of an end, wouldn't it? There we go, Rift Breaker can't. Huh. Okay, try clicking on it in building mode. Rift ah, there we go. Sequence initiated. The energy oh, wow. Creating intense electromagnetic waves. A lot of wind, apparently, too. Minor gravitational field disturbances. Uh -oh. Um. The power up sequence is creating seismic waves. I can feel the ground shaking. The weather is going crazy. It looks like the whole planet is going mad. Not down here, apparently. I am detecting hordes of creatures moving towards our base from all directions. There are thousands of them. Oh, okay. And this is it. Okay, maybe I should make some backup lines of defense. My hand is trembling. I'm not sure if I'm stressing more about the battle or by opening the connection to Earth. We've been here for so long, every day fighting for survival. We are prepared for the battle. I know we are. Are we though? Like, I don't know if we are, because I was very direct on just like doing it. It says all directions, but strangely enough, it's only coming from one currently. Oh, there it goes, coming from the second one. Okay, well this is fine. We'll just slowly start building up our defenses in places we haven't already. And, uh, yeah. We'll be good. Start with the Gatling laser. Some minigun turrets. Some lasers, lasers. Oh, I don't like that that's just a tower destroyed. Oh, it's probably over there. Oh, actually, it's probably down here. Right. No, it's fine here. Okay, let's check up here. This was the place with our uh, modded weapons, primarily. I do admit, probably need a little bit more here. Is 25% ready. Okay. Um, that's fine. We're fine. Although, there's definitely some stuff out there we can't hit with our guns, so. Come on. has been destroyed. Well, that's not good. Also, those are definitely DLC things. Okay, let's go south over here. Because apparently we have not fully um, finished off this section over here. Um... Oh well, you know what our strategy is if we end up being screwed. Okay, looks like we're getting some more things we can't necessarily deal with that section. Oh no, this section doesn't have any defenses? Oh it does, okay. Wait, no it doesn't. Uh oh. Uh oh, let's, let's move. Okay, kill everything. 
I need to go back in there. Please let me back in there. Thank you. I did not realize we... Okay, this is a lot harder than I remember it being, which is fantastic. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Oh, bloody hell. An energy connector has been destroyed. Okay, this whole area did not have any defenses. Okay. First of all. Second of all. Third of all. Alright. Um, we might go out there and do some defending ourselves. Because otherwise, this wall is going down. Technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Oh shit, I exploded. That's all good. Let's do that. Wait, what? Uh oh. I think. Did it just glitch out of me? Okay, no. Alright, I think our best bet is to make a secondary defense line near our... Everything's... Everything's lagging out. Oh, no. A tower has been destroyed. Okay, maybe we should have prepared a little bit better. Oh, god damn it. Alright, so so many enemies, I can't get close to my own defense lines. Lovely. And there's so much lag, I don't even know if it's going to be recording properly. Although it's not technically lag lag, it's like a weird lag where I'm just like, yeah, I'm just dying. Alright, that's, that's odd. That's actually very weird. This base is doing remarkably well. What are those icons on the map? Okay, well this section's actually pretty well defended. I'm mostly worried about down here. So... I'm actually most worried about down there, but we're going to just start making random guns and walls everywhere, just in case they get through. Ooh, also. Level 3 Gatling. Okay, we've got to defend. We have to defend the power generators, because the power generators start going down, we are a little bit concerned. So, we're going to have to build as many of these around here as we can. As slow as we're going, we still have to do it. That's fine. Alright, and then... Oh wow, we're actually out of resources. And we build a ton of these around here. Oh yeah, things are definitely getting through right now. And we won't be able to stop it. So... Uh oh Okay, something is directly attacking me. Huh. Okay, I I don't know if that's if this is actually gonna work. Um, my new plan is I'm gonna build a fallback position over here, and hope we've got enough power to deal with it. Um, so we need to set up a, a, a backwards defense line, because apparently. We may not have quite enough power to deal with what's coming at us. One of our walls However, we do have multiple lines of defenses for this very purpose. So, actually, you know what? We need to get some. Heavy artillery towers going in. We know exactly where we've got some supercharged plasma to get going with. All right. Do we want to use this up with this though? Yes, yes we do. We've got no other options. Alright. So one, two. And now, let's build a pipe that goes past both of these. Alright, now, can I 
get more of these actually let's only power through to that so we might be able to get some more anyway we still had the power connector going through i need to get this artillery up everything is going very slowly at the moment come on let me teleport through please thank you all right where's the line of plasma we need a line of regular plasma to turn it into superheated plasma Power destroyed. We even have a line of regular plasma left? I don't know. Come on, give me a line of plasma. Ah, there's one. Has been destroyed. Okay, good, 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 good. Hold it. Can we go through there? Okay, no, we can't. Just not yet. There we go. One. Two. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We've got those coming through. Now, I should have thought about this before, I realize, but that's okay. Because, oh well. Now, uh oh no, not that one. Not that one, or that will screw everything up on the entire line. Alright, let's get some heavy artillery. Damn it, let me just build the heavy artillery. One, two, three. Four. Five. No, we don't have Carbonian. Oh, shit. Okay. And not to mention time. Time is of the essence, too. Okay. We need to set up some more walls between here and there as well. So let's do that. Because, yep, there's enemies right there. Okay. More walls. More walls! So many walls. We need to defend the power production. Okay. Looks like we're okay. Might also want some more... To rebuild uh, some more repairing here as well. Because our power is right back here and is sort of untouched currently. Alright. Supercharged plasma, the guns are up. We just need to get the actual. 1 minute 42. Okay, let's watch what's happening. So, amazingly, this is still working perfectly fine. This is. The field is broken. Should be said, no one has attacked here yet. Which means we really need to set up some defenses here before shit hits the fan here as well. Um, so upgrading these with rail guns would be a good start. And of course putting down some rail gun Gatling lasers as well would be nice if we can afford them. Boop. And... Any gun will help us at this point, to be quite frank. Not enough We've carbon. also we got to play a power stored somewhere as well, which is which is good until you realize that I don't remember where I have the bulk of my power stored, so we might also want to get some more power storage going. Actually we can't, because our power's going down. So literally. Alright, our northern border is thankfully most defended just due to the fact it has least like surface area. The southern tip is about to fall regardless. I can't even get near it without everything just dying. This one is working surprisingly well and I haven't even done anything to it besides my very brief upgrade before. So I'm most worried about this section here. I want these in one minute, in one in 16 seconds, we get that as a fence. So Oh boy, uh, more, 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 more of these, please. One of our buildings oh boy. Yep, no, there's the morphium generator. No, you're not going down. No one's going down. Well, actually, a lot of things are going down. Clearly, a lot of things are going down. In fact, I think it's very clear to see this entire defense line is now down. Which means we need to set up this defense line. Ready to go. 
One Again. Energy connectors has been destroyed. There is a breach in our wall. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's fine. Railgun towers, because this is going to be the next line that gets attacked. So, at least get some more modern defenses going on here. Some minigun towers. Okay, we are out of Carbonian. In fact, we are out of pretty much everything. What happened? Did they... They didn't take anything down for us, right? Oh boy, let's go back to where where the uh, plasma gun, the artillery is. Oh damn, it's still 50 seconds. Alright, it's 50 seconds until the defense comes online. We need to just keep on building tons of walls, I guess. Base is under attack. Walls are good. Walls are very good. Let's build some more of them. Okay, this is the heartland of my base. And it is about to be invaded from the north, though there's not too much here that can do it. So I think the main thing we can do here is a ton of walls in every spot we can. Okay, I kind of noticed we are running exceedingly low. Oh, our power's actually going up for the first time in a while, too. That's nice. Oh, buddy, yeah, we can't get back there. We need to make another defensive line. Another, not defensive line. Well, yes, none of those two, but we need to make another portal over here so we can actually get here. Let's make more portals. More portals. Wall destroyed. Oh God, I don't actually. One of our energy connectors has I been don't destroyed. actually know if we're going to get these turrets up and running. It's 23, 28 seconds. God damn it. And okay, you know what? We really should have built. Another thing we should really build is a tank if we can. Because otherwise, if those power plants go down, we don't have any plasma create our guns and I'm guessing they still haven't been touched yet which means we've still got time oh thank you thank you very much oh I love you so much all right I mean I don't know how this will really change the game but it is a lot of guns that I've just built here and should be able to attack everything oh boy I do not like how close that's getting repair please Nineteen seconds. Come on. Oh boy, they are just cutting through our defensive line, aren't they? Seven. Six. Oh god, I don't like how close this is. Five. Four. You know what? It probably line up with me actually finishing the uh, rift portal as well, which is hilarious. Three. Two. Oh, I still eliminate these threats. Oh god, okay. One. There is a breach Zero. in our wall. Okay, they're on. Holy hell. I don't think it'll make much difference, but it's nice we were able to get them on. Holy hell, it's just like clouds of death over there, isn't it? Holy hell, what the hell is that? Okay, let's go out and try and provide some supporting fire. Go down fire fighting because currently we've actually got some cover fire. Let's go! 
Oh, I hate these things. I hate these things so much. Die. Got some mines. Do anything we've got. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. Holy hell. Okay. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Okay. Go back out. A building has been destroyed. A tower has been destroyed. Oh god, look at the bloody chaos. This survive until the rift section is enabled. And then it doesn't actually end after. Oh no. Alright, let's see there's some bosses to north we might want to take down. Honestly, north has survived better than I was expecting. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. I feel like the DLC definitely made this harder. I also remembered the fact that this is still set to Brutal, and I haven't actually done this on Brutal before. Oh boy, we may actually lose this. Base is under attack. I guess it depends on if the gun, if we have enough guns. Achievement, kill 30 drill go go crawlers, whatever those are. Oh boy. A building has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. Bloody hell. We need to take down those things. Amazingly. Okay, yeah, there's some sort of boss over here. Let's aim for those. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. And try and take down their bosses. While we're here, we'll also repair what's behind us. Oh bloody hell, there's still more. Yeah, not that there's any power here, so... Oh god. Alright, we go behind them, we kill out the bosses. That's all we can do. Thankfully our ammo can... Our, our, the ammo we use is like... Produced in the very core of the base. So we should have plenty of ammo, I hope. Shouldn't have said that. Oh god, there's some purple hearts here as well. That's not good. One of our portals has been destroyed. Ah, there's one of those bloody snails. One of our buildings has been destroyed. Base is under attack. Okay, there's some big skulls down south. Ah, and more snails. Gotcha. That's what they are. Snails definitely seem like the biggest, baddest things. Oh, they're not snails. What is that? What is that? Uh-oh. An energy connector has been destroyed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Great, great. What the hell is that?
Alright, this is the main swarm of them. If we can start reading away from the base, that might actually help a little bit. Oh god, there's Morphium here too? Oh god, there's turrets! Morphium turrets this morning. That's weird. I thought we defeated the Morphium people. Come on! of them it's okay i mean it's not really but okay keep going keep going there's no snail gone i hope come on kill snail kill snail kill snail kill snail Come on. I think the mod also made it a little bit harder. A portal has been destroyed. Wait, what? That's not good. Uh oh. Oh damn, they bloody filled our base with turrets. This was our base once, wasn't it? One of our buildings has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. Wall destroyed. I think if we want to do this, we're going to need to get to dial up the firepower something chronic. I think I'm going to need to make sure this is an entire fortress of death. So if we don't win this time, we're going to have to make sure this place is a fortress of destruction and death. Like multiple layers of it. of death. Hi there, friend. You look big and terrifying. You actually look like a tick. Okay, don't stay too long on one target. Try and focus, bosses, if you can. Tower has been destroyed. One of our walls has been destroyed. Uh oh. Seven. It's got walls here. Six. Five. Four. Energy connector has been destroyed. Three. Two. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to heal before we die, am I? Nope, I can't. Alright, get out there. Let's go. Oh, there's a snail out there. We need to get the snail down. Another big death force over here, apparently. Oh god, let me teleport! Let me teleport, please! Our towers Damn are it! Lower. Why did it not let me teleport? More ammunition batteries. Bloody hell. Wait, what? Objective finished? Power sequence completed. The quantum gate is we can go! We, are ready we can go! We can win! It's a technical victory! Let's go! Yes! <laughs> this 
is so stupid. G'day though. Well, so now they've got tanks. <laughs> How did this happen? Why does this feel like a stock message? <laughs> what the hell? Problem is, when I get back... You know what? Don't have to get back. I've won now. See? It's over. Congratulations. <laughs> we definitely won that. I mean, technically... If we got through the rift gate, if it was working both ways, we could have just basically unleashed the Earth military forces on it. And we are, we are able to defend ourselves with just one of those Rift Breakers. Imagine if they were able to bring through a squad of highly trained Marines, like Rift Maker Marines or something. Like, we'd be fine. That took a lot longer than I was expecting. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, I love this game. And I can't wait for World Expansion 3. That sounds fantastic. Um, those because it's a lot more Galtier. Obviously, if we do go continue, I'm guessing we'll be back in the field of death. Or will be just before we activate it? Hopefully just before, because then I can actually set up some proper defenses when we have to do it again. But no, that that's good. I love this game. I really do. And there's, don't get me wrong, if you've watched this whole series and you're like, well, now I don't play it. Yes, you do. It's still fun. And obviously, I played it in a particular way. Yeah, it just was just before... Just before the chaos happened. Is when it, um, when it happened. So, to recap, this station works surprisingly well. Um, probably because it's so small and contained. I wonder... I'm thinking the best way for us to deal with this would A, bolster every line of defense inside because it goes as far as here. B, make another wall around the outside with a couple of extra road layers in there, just built in redundancies. C, a couple of satellite stations around the outside to help um, bin the horde, so to speak. And yeah, I think that would have helped. Either way, we did win. And that's the most important thing, right? Oh, and, and uh, D. A giant artillery station. Right in the bloody center. Like, if we had a giant artillery station from the get-go... I reckon that would have really helped if we had had just a gigantic artillery three, wherever they are. There they are. Heavy artillery station. Um, and we had a bunch of them just like set up in massive batteries. That would have helped as well, I reckon. But obviously, we, uh, I mean, we still won regardless, right? Like, you can't take that from me. No one, no one can take that from me, except the commenters. Um, it also would have helped to have a little bit of an extra run in terms of like, yeah. Okay, here we go. Super cool. No, um, it would have also helped to have a little bit of extra run in terms of um, more layers the onion yes but also in terms of like resources like at some point we were actually running out of carbonian which is crazy because we have like so many mines doing their thing right now um but yes so also you, you definitely want to have some of these just in case the production facilities themselves get damaged
But like, if you had a bunch of these lying around, I reckon that would make things a heck of a lot easier. Obviously, you'd want them on this side where the actual chaos was, but you get the idea. You could do it all over the place, technically. Yeah, there's some more plasma there. Like, we'll probably want some more plasma producing power plants as well. And that's another thing you could do. You could definitely increase the production of plasma by having more than two of these blasted uh, power plants around. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Alright, so that's 400 ward, 100 ward per second. We need 220. So, how much have we got going through there? Okay, 600. So, yeah, we could make a boatload more. Um of this here and that would help as well Four, five six so like realistically we were not being overly efficient here anyway Oh, wait, no, that was the correct amount. That was where it was meant to go. The water wasn't to go there. And the plasma comes out on this line. And then we turn the plasma into superheated plasma. And yeah. Like, see, we could have easily done it, right? Like, with a little bit more defense, with a little bit more preparation, we easily could have done this um, a little bit better. But, you know. Like, just having those would have helped. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. It's fair, they'll probably help regardless. Like, I'll eventually come back, I'm guessing. And I have to wait for the mods to be updated, obviously, but, like, realistically. I think there is a way to force the tech tree to update as well. Like something like that would have probably improved the effectiveness quite sizably of our defenses. Assuming it's enough, I don't know. Two, three, four. Let's see if how the uh, how that works out. Oh, no, 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 no. Drain that. Drain that. All right. So we've got. We won't know yet. Let's see. We're definitely not making enough plasma yet. Apparently. Oh no, because these aren't done yet. They will be though. Okay. And then these are going to happen. Yeah. Now they produce how much? Two, uh, they produce 75 per second. How much do these use? 25. Okay, so probably not enough. No, because we don't get three per. You know, they, they seem expensive. Like really, really expensive. Good. Okay. We need about double what we've got, but interesting. It's a good proof of concept. Especially since those are literally firing off the map, which is quite funny. Alright, well we can probably make we can probably make this better. If we move this forward like so. And then we Build a few more plasma converters over here. I 
think I don't know at this point okay oh you get the idea with a few more layers of defense oh god um maybe I also need another another radar that could have also been a cause of the, of the problem though once again we did win just just keep in mind this is all like okay it's not thanks to this section here <laughs> Yeah, see, last time I did this, I remember it not being nearly as, um, like, direct in terms of its, uh, like, how much damage was done. God damn, we need a lot of ironium for that. Uh, but still, it could be done, right? We just see little, like doubling up on that. We'd have enough plasma. We'd have enough um, stuff for that for the artillery banks. It would, it would work out. It would just take a bit of time. But anyway, we won anyway. I just would like to run for a little bit less collateral damage. For now, though, that's enough Rift Breaker. Next week, um, Starfield is taking this slot. I'm going to move it uh, from the weekend. As I said a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to try and have the weekends where it's more of a free sort of thing. Like, I, I will most of the time probably not post anything. But if I do need to put something in there, like a game I really love or... I'm detecting a large group of creatures. Or whatever, I'll be able to do it. Position. Like... I feel like just having that bit of extra freedom, I can see why Paris suggested it. But, uh... Yeah. Oh well. For now, I'm going to leave it there. We still have plenty of stuff to do in terms of tech tree. Research completed. Which is a shame. But, um... I, I think the tech tree is just so massive. Especially with all the mods. Like, I... Also, there's still places that are locked for some reason. I don't know how there are locked campaign things at this point. But, okay. Oh well, for now, I'll see you next time. We may come back to this at some point in the future, depending on if my mods decide they want to play nicely when they get updated, um, and when World Expansion 3 comes out. Hopefully there's a way by then to deal with that um, problem. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the series. I certainly did. And uh, I'll see you uh, all next time. Goodbye.